TGI Friday, everybody. It is August 6th. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, we got a lot to talk about. Let's take care of our housekeeping first. So if you are doing the Robert Glasscock Horary class, that information is up on the website. Would you just mind emailing me? I'd love to know who all is going to be in there from here, if anybody. And then I saw yesterday that Robert Glasscock is also doing a Solar Arc Practicum. This is really what he's famous for. So Kepler College, Robert Glasscock, a couple of classes coming up that are just really great instructional classes, if you would like. Now, speaking of instructional classes, tomorrow, Stephanie will be back. We're going to be talking medical astrology and the moon in Gemini. So that will be our regular podcast tomorrow. Now, I am going to go ahead and open the Fun Astrology 101 course on Sunday. Had a little setback this week on it. Had a little technical difficulty, but it has been. This this actually worked out. It was like the Uranus Jack in the Box. Actually, it was kind of that. It was, this was one step back, three steps forward is the way it worked out. So it was great. So here's what's going to happen on Sunday. I'll release the podcast at the regular time of 4 a.m. Eastern time. The course itself will re, will start selling at, I think it's 9.52 I'm going to do it right on the new moon, all right? So we'll explain all that in the podcast. Just catch Sunday's episode as normal. You have time, no rush. It will be there when you wake up and have your coffee. We'll get everybody taken care of in all time zones, okay? I think that's it. We've got a lot going on around here. All right, now let's talk about the sky today. Oh, my goodness. If you looked at today's chart, I'll put it in the on the webpage. It looks like a mandala inside i guess it's just like wow every planet is basically connected to somebody else but there is one today that stands out and that is that the sun in leo at 14 degrees squares uranus in taurus also at 14 degrees so we're going to unpack that thoroughly but before we do that let me just throw the keywords down here for the day pretty much the same ones that we've been seeing through the week We do have a couple of others pop in today. So the crisis change energy, and that is a key word toward the end of the day. Determination, uh, accident now has come in. Surgery, crisis, surprise. So kind of the same. I would say that the tweak is that we're seeing the accident and the injury and the surgery elevate, especially toward the middle part of the day. Now, let's take a look at this very significant, I think this is so depictive of what is going on, is the sun squaring Uranus. A friend yesterday mentioned that her husband, who is normally very positive, very upbeat, and really not, you know, doesn't, isn't clued into these things that we talk about every day, put it that way, said at dinner last night, that he had an oppressive sense of doom. Well, I know a lot of people have been feeling this heaviness. And like I try to say on here, it's okay to feel that as long as you work with it and don't resist it. That's the big key. We've talked about that in the past. But today, with the sun squaring Uranus, we get both sides of this equation in one capsulated aspect. Because on the positive side of the sun squaring Uranus, even though it's a square aspect, that can lead to the self-autonomy, that independence factor, that uh, almost release of shackles, right? I mean, the square could dissolve old things that are holding you back. So you could get this whole new perspective on your direction and your course. Leo, shining, the sun. Also Uranus. What's Uranus all about? Technology. Also creativity, especially from a sense of technological, like technological aspect. And I know you might not even like your technology. You might barely exist with a phone. But I'm just saying there are always new technologies coming to us, whether it's involving computer chips or just learning new skills. 
Another thing that's positive about this is that you could find new ways of shining out into the world because Uranus ruling Aquarius and the 11th house is all about society, groups of people, large groups of people. So you could even, this aspect could, might trigger for you the idea of being a way shower, somebody who points to solutions, not to problems. Now, we can't look at this, obviously, without looking at the other side. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, it could be on the shadow side of this square between the sun and Leo and Uranus and Taurus. We could be looking at simply authoritarian constriction. I mean, I know right now there are a lot of healthcare workers who are wondering what the next 60 days are going to unfold as far as their employment. That's a huge amount of stress. What we haven't seen yet, at least in the United States, is that rebellion. But boy, there is an aspect that could come from this as well. Societal uproar, societal upheaval. Another shadow side of this could be impatience. Just uh, get, well, imagine being pushed to the edge and, you know, like Popeye used to say, I can't stand it no more and get your spinach out. There could also be, I think, within this, uh, a push toward self-expression that ends up not being able to be pushed forward, not being able to move forward. So we see both sides here of this at a time in our world where the tension is seemingly sitting right on that dividing line, isn't it? And that's why I think it's so important what we are doing on Sunday night in our Facebook group with the Healing Convergence, where we're combining our energies to send them as one, as a ray of light up into the ethers, because I think that is the ultimate answer to this dilemma. So if you're not part of our Facebook group, we would invite you to join us. It's Facebook. Just look up the Subconscious Mind Mastery Podcast listeners and join in, answer the questions, please, and we will see you Sunday evening for our second Healing Convergence Meditation. Back with Stephanie tomorrow and our special course announcement on Sunday. So we do have a lot happening around here. I'll see you then.